Good morning. So we are going to Epcot this morning. It is October 1st and I seriously underestimated how many people are going to come here today because I just looked at my GPS and it was all red for the place that I'm about to go to and check this out. This is the line to get into Epcot today. This is insane. I kind of came this way. Oh my god, imagine I came the other way. That'd be terrible. This is packed. Alright, so it looks like we got past the first part. And now we're on to the second part. Alrighty, good morning everybody. We are going to Epcot today for the 35th anniversary. And it is a little rainy today. I've noticed that when I came into the parking and into the parking lot or whatever uh, most of the cars are from Florida so either they are rentals or everybody here is a pass holder so there's a D23 immediate check-in now D23 I guess there's like something specific going on that D23 you could have been a part of I didn't even look so we're gonna head over to the annual pass holder entrance I already see a huge line over here. I wonder what that's for. How you doing? Okay. All right, so we are in and um, we got our map, we got our buttons. I'm probably gonna go get more maps later because I feel like this one's gonna get messed up because of the rain. Um, but I'm gonna find out what this line is for. Okay, so this line is apparently for the pop-up merchandise. I have no money, so we will not be getting any merchandise. Um, I am also not waiting on the line to show you guys, I apologize. But we're gonna go watch the ceremony. It's at 10.01, so we are on time. The line looks like it's still continuing all the way that way. No line for Spaceship Earth. So this is where the line is still going to. I guess it goes inside. We have another set of lines over here. I guess this is for the pins. And I'm in a puddle. So, I guess if you wanted merch or pins or anything like that, you had to get here super early, but it's not what I'm here for. Starbucks even has an insane line. I'm gonna say that's at least 45 minutes. Just to get your drink. So once again, I hate using an umbrella at the parks because it is so hard to get around anywhere. Okay, so we found a little spot and um, I was so excited because tip Tracker is right over here and it's like I want to say hi but I don't at the same time so I'm like hey! I'm super excited I got to see Tim Tracker. I got a picture and that's awesome and yeah, so it'll be uh, later on. I don't know what I'm gonna do after this, but um, this we got a little calendar thing. So I was reading over this little pamphlet thing, and apparently they have a special food and merchandise too. They have cupcakes and they have special wine. Well, not like really a special sparkling wine and commemorative glasses available. So I will probably check that out because it's probably a decent sized cupcake. So this is the kind of spot we have also, mind you, that I'm still short and there's always going to be tall people in front of me. I think the best I could do is I could turn my wide angle the other way see if we can get some more. It was supposed to start at 10.01 but at 9.59 they said five minutes. We're going to do our best to get the best video we could get. Here to kick off Epcot's 35th anniversary celebration, please welcome Mariachi Cobre. <laughs> Walt 
Disney World ambassador. And on behalf of the entire Walt Disney World cast, we welcome you to a celebration of the 35th anniversary of Epcot. It's 
so here we have some merch. I've got 35. We got hats, shirts, the pigment shirt. So I guess they're getting ready for the chew also because there is a huge chew stage. Like, huge. So that's the monorail track and that's pretty much how high this thing goes up. I apologize for the squinting. Um, I forgot my sunglasses in the car and my regular glasses on me. Um, so I apologize for that. So here's the chew stage. Looks like there's people up there, so I guess either they're setting up or they're actually doing something there. That's a pretty cool place for the stage, though. So here's a little bit more of a close-up look of the chew stage. Here we have a sign that actually tells us when the show will be airing, but it looks like they are actually doing stuff now. So I'm headed to go find that cupcake because I'm hungry. And I was going to get piggy wings and I was going to get that burger cone, but I'm like, let me do something 35th anniversary. So I think the cafe that they're talking about is the one at the Norwegian. We'll see. I was right. This is the place to get the cupcake. I figured Kringla. It sounds very Norwegian, um, so let's get this cupcake. I might get a berry cream. So here's the cupcake. Alrighty, so first, <gasps> the horns are filled with chocolate. Oh my god. Mm. That's good. So I'm all finished with my cupcake. It was delicious, and um, the, all the icing was a little bit uh, sweet, but the uh, icing with the cupcake together was awesome. Um, so right now we are headed back over to the main you know, area of Epcot where all the festival stuff is going on. I'm gonna go ahead and go to that 35th anniversary um, spot where they have all the pictures and stuff. So we'll go check that, it's at the Odyssey building. It sucks because right now I'm here before work and um, so I can't drink. So I can't get that really cool 35th anniversary um, cup. So, but it's like a bluish drink. You can watch some old Epcot videos here. like over in the craft beer section that's where you could get the uh, light up anniversary cups they're really nice start this way and notice the hidden Mickey The future of Epcot. Apparently, we're going to have a group walking up in here. So 
So here we got the concept art for France. Here's the ride. So excited for that. Some of the mood now to go on a ride. So maybe we'll do either Mission Space or Test Track. Single rider. We'll see how the weights are. Alrighty, so I was going to go and uh, go on a ride before, but I got really thirsty. So remember, always stay hydrated. This is the best ice. So here's an interesting development. Um, the Mickey popcorn buckets with that look like pumpkins. Originally, they were only available at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now they're available in the parks. Right behind me, at this popcorn stand, they have them. And they apparently also have them in Hollywood Studios. So if you want a Mickey popcorn bucket, they're actually available in all the parks. Well, I don't know about Animal Kingdom yet, but we'll see. So right now we are headed to the line for the Mission Space. And I don't know if I'm going to do the more intense one, but I think I might. So right now the less intense one is 10 minutes. The more intense one is 25. I have time. Hello. Thank you. So when you go on the more intense one, they give you a whole bunch of warnings. So you gotta read it. They also have it in Spanish. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Position, navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you were made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions to the green team, less intense training area. Alright, so we are on the more intense one. Let's see how this goes. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballas Marineros. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hypersleep. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest. Keep your eyes open at all times and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. Space sickness bags are located Commander, on the instrument panel. just remember your assignments. First your stage assignments? separation and manual control. Loading flight plan. Five seconds. 
gonna get like sick or like dizzy and stuff but I didn't um, so I'm happy about that so I can go on this again without feeling like I'm gonna throw up or something so if you want to know kind of what it feels like it feels like if you ever went on rock and roller coaster when they shoot you out it's kind of like that but it moves I don't know it's weird but um you feel your whole like face and everything like moving it's cool So it looks like the lines for the merch and the pins and stuff are still pretty intense. So I am not staying too long here today. I'm actually going to work, but I'm even leaving earlier than I have to to get to work. Um, mainly because it's just a chill kind of day. I don't feel like holding this umbrella anymore. But I did come to see the anniversary stuff and I got my anniversary pins and the map. So I think it was a day well spent. Alrighty everybody, so we are leaving for the day. We are headed to the car. Mind you, we got an amazing spot today. Amazing, like we're in the first section and like the first couple of cars in, which is awesome. Um, also this week there's a lot going on. Actually in the next two weeks there's a lot going on. We'll see if we're gonna be in the parks early this week. We are we are gonna be at the parks more in the next two weeks. I will be going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party twice. Once um, with some of my coworkers and once with Carol. So excited. So Carol and Johan are coming to visit. I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna do food and wine. 
Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So it'll be also I'm gonna be going to Food and Wine this upcoming Wednesday and the Halloween party on Thursday. So this week's packed with food and wine and Mickey's Not So Scary and the following week will be. So if you wanna see those videos, click that subscribe button. But as for now, I am headed off. And if there's anything you'd like to see in the parties or in um, food and wine, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. So apparently today was vlogger day in uh, Epcot. So there was a lot of people there that are vloggers who were super like big in the Disney vlogging community. So we had Tim Tracker, Adam the Woo. There's another guy there who I know by face, I just don't know by name. Um, and then also Justin Scard. I didn't get to see Justin Scard, but I have met Justin Scard before. Actually, my husband loves Justin Scard. So um, he was in one of our videos when we saw Caring for Giants. So he would, we have the picture with him. Um, but I did get to see Tim Tracker and I'm so excited about that. Love Tim Tracker and Jen, they're so awesome. Um, he was nice, he was very nice. Um, I got a little starstruck, so I kind of, I feel like I was rambling, but it was Tim Tracker. Um, but anyway, I hope one day maybe I'll be that awesome and that cool and that big of a YouTuber that people want to go take pictures with me. But as of right now, I'm just a lowly YouTuber with my 128 followers, and I'm so happy for all of you. You guys are awesome, and you really, you know, I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, all the views, all the likes, I appreciate. Um, it means a lot that you guys watch these and I'm not just, you know, talking to myself. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you like me and you like the videos. Um, I will also be going to New York again and Georgia again. So I know some of my videos are a little bit, um, are not all in Disney, but I try to go other places. I try. I know you guys love the Disney videos but I try to do other things. <laughs> but I'll see you next time. Bye.